The neurophysiotherapy team at Queen Alexandra Hospital in Caution have been raising money to fund a specialist therapy for bike, for stroke and other brain injury victims to use as part of their rehabilitation. One challenge they've set themselves is to cycle the 6,000 miles between Portsmouth and Rio de Janeiro, where of course the Olympics are taking place. Our reporter Ben Treppers went along as they embarked on a 12-hour stint at the hospital. They're calling it the Ride to Rio. To tie in with the Summer Olympic Games taking place in Brazil, the neurophysio team at QA have set themselves the target of cycling continuously for 12 hours. The test of endurance is being done to raise money for a specialist therapy bike. One member of the team taking on the entire cycle is senior physio Harriet. She explained more about the event and some of the other aspects of the day. This whole event has been planned by the neurophysios and the neurotherapists. Um, we're aiming to ride to Rio for neuro rehab. So we're trying to essentially raise money for the therapy bikes which are here. Um, and it's, they're the most expensive pieces of equipment. And so the more that we can raise, the better. Um, we're having a few things on today. We've got a fantastic cake sale. Uh, we have a big raffle. We've had so much support from local businesses. It's been fantastic. And uh, we're cycling. So the theme is that I'm cycling for a whole 12 hours um, to raise the profile of the event. And we've got all the different staff members coming down from the doctors, the nurses, the whole team. They're coming down and cycling with me on this bike here. The bikes will allow people to start moving and exercising sooner whilst in hospital, which gives them a greater chance of improved mobility in the later stages of recovery from their respective injuries. These bikes are specially designed for um, patients with neurological deficits or disorders, so hopefully we're going to use them on the wards uh, predominantly used by patients who have brain injury and stroke. Um, so they have different functions, they have feedback so that they can tell us how much someone is pushing on each arm or each leg. They can also stop if someone's having a fit. They're really specialist pieces of kit. They can be used um, for people in wheelchairs and chairs alike, so they're really flexible. But predominantly they're going to be used up on the head injury and the stroke wards. Yeah. One such stroke victim is Simon. He spent his time recovering under the team at Queen Alexandra. He explained why such a new piece of equipment will become a vital part of the recovery process and also about the care he received following his stroke. I started off in a wheelchair and these guys from the physio managed to get me back onto my legs. So I'm sort of rather grateful for all the hard work they put in up here. I mean, I was totally paralysed on my left-hand side, so with the physio, I'm back to walking again, so it works. Physios, I believe at the moment, don't cover weekends. So you work all through the week on your exercises and then you get to the weekend. And if you're a permanent patient here, you can have an awful lot of time when you could be doing something more productive, like using one of these new exercise bikes, which would be really beneficial if you're up there for some time, like I was. Because you're losing those sort of two days of training over the weekend when you could be doing something. So, yeah, it'd be good if they had one. So we're all here to support, so yeah. Ben Trappus for that Solent.